One minute to Air Studio. One minute. Then I'll ask you about the new political situation. Don't expect a simple answer. There are not many certainties in Albania. It's my job to get at the truth, Mr. Risha. And it's my job to guard my president's secrets. Don't forget that. And fade up too? Where would you like me to sit? Uh, you sit here. Here? That's it. Okay, thank you. Hello, that completes our studio tour. Fifteen seconds, studio. Fifteen seconds to air. Two, tighten on the logo. Tighter. Hold it there. Stand by, VT. Good luck, everybody. On air in five seconds. Stand by music. Three, two, one. Cue music. One. Cut to one. Cue Jake. Good evening. In a week that's seen two economic summits, one harrowing story seems to have been overlooked. Andy, Andy. Albania, once a satellite of the old Soviet Union, seemed until recently to be making steady progress. With me is Elez Risha, special advisor to the Albanian government. Mr. Risha, you were once a communist, yet you seem to have embraced the free market economy with some enthusiasm. Well, uh, as you know, throughout the former communist world... What the hell is happening? Everyone! Don't move! Peter, your hands on your heads, all of you, now! Yeah, you Do it! Step back! Step back! Who are you? What do you want? Be quiet. Sit down. Your camera, point at me. My name is Enver Panos. In the next hour, you are going to see something so shocking, you will remember it for the rest of your lives. We have taken over this studio for a very special purpose. We will hold it for exactly one hour. That is all the time that we shall need to tell our story to the world. This program goes out live, direct from satellite. Soon, TV stations everywhere will see what is happening here and transmit these pictures to their own viewers, America, Europe, the Far East, because no TV station anywhere will pass up the chance to show real drama as it happens, minute by minute, live. So, now we must wait a short time until viewers from countries all around the world will join us. It won't be long. Mr. Venner, we have no quarrel with you or your people. You may go. Only your distinguished guest will stay, Mr. Elish Risha. Leave your cameras where they are and walk away. Leave the studios, now, quickly, quickly! And touch nothing, you understand? You two, all of you, walk out of the building and go. What's this about? Who are you? Go home and watch. You will soon find out. Why are you waiting? Go, all of you, go! All except you. We need you. Me? Why me? You will operate the equipment. No, I'll do it. I'll stay. Let her go. You'll do as you're told. Get out! You harm her. 
out, or you're a dead man! For God's sake, Paul, he'll kill you! Well, don't worry, Pierre. The police will be here any minute. Out! Leave it! Leave it! Doors locked. All of them? Studio, yes. In here, too. I locked this by hand. Go now, quickly. You'll be all right? Yes, get down there. You call if you need me. You know how to operate emergency power. Show me. Show me! You turn this key, you lift the flap, and you press the button. Now get out of here. Get out of the building while you can. Go home. Move! Move! Now we wait. Cigarette? I don't smoke. Oh, yes, you do, Commissar. Yes, you do. You don't even know me, do you? Of course not. How could you remember one among so many? They're fully armed and are now in total control of the main studio and technical areas. So far, their aims are not clear, and no demands have as yet been made. They could be a political faction within Albania, or just gangsters about to demand a ransom. Mr. Spencer, how many teams do we have on standby? Three, sir. Sorry to call you in. No, 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 you did the right thing. Get me the commissioner of police on the telephone and call in Keel, Curtis and Bacchus, sir. Yes. Which studios? All right, move all these people away. Think you're ready to evacuate the building, sir. Jim, SWAT teams in his way. How many people still inside? Please. Well, as soon as we started, the bass amp exploded, the guitars fell off the stage, and I'm staring at these recruits thinking, Someone kill me, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Kill. Shfari Tony Onyeres. Mek. Speak English. What do your people want? Money? No, not money. Something far more important. What is it? You will know soon enough. You have some uh, grievance against my government. Something you disagree with, huh? Well, these things can easily be solved with a little goodwill on both sides. A simple negotiation be can... Be quiet. Perhaps you can tell me. Am I the hostage for the release of some criminal? Huh? Is that it? You want to uh, swap me for some prisoner, a friend of yours, maybe? Huh? 
Why don't you answer me? Huh? Tell me what you want. Tell your audience. Tell everybody why the representative of a friendly government is being held at gunpoint. Sit down. What's the matter with you people? Are you crazy? You think the police won't come? They'll be outside right now. Right outside that door. Sit down. Open the door, I'm coming out. Sit down! Or what? What will you do? Shoot me. Shoot me in front of your TV audience, let them see what cowards you are, and then what? Spend the rest of your life in jail. Is that what you want? To rot in jail. I'm coming out! I have five seconds to sit down. One, you will do nothing. Two, you will do nothing because you are nothing. Three, open the door! Open the door! You, or you, it must be your way. You, you. Must, must be joy. Yo. Return to your seat, Special Minister Risha. Commissioner. I cannot impress upon you strongly enough. A frontal assault by the police would be disastrous. My people have highly specialized training. That is why it is a job for CI5. Your course through on Red 9, sir. I'm, I'm not arguing with you any further, Commissioner. I'm going to get clearance. Yes, indeed, sir, at the very highest level. Please do stay out of it. How close are the teams? G-team's already there. Keep me informed. Prime Minister. Yes. The hijack, sir. <laughs> no, my aunt is a bit pretentious. Thank you. She says, sex is like skiing, only dangerous when you're off piece. <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. You've got to come home. There's a flood coming down from upstairs. What? From your flat into mine, it's pouring down off the walls. Sorry about this, but I live in the flat below. It's an emergency. Enjoy your meal. Uh, excuse me. Try to keep up. Sam, what is this all about? Malone will brief us on the way. Why can't anybody get you on the phone? No. Dressed like this, where am I going to put a phone? Besides, this is my day off. Yeah, well, you tell that to Malone. Oh. Where's the phone? TV Studios, Teddington. Think they'll discover me? <sighs> Studios, scene docks, dressing rooms, offices built all the way around. Now they're holding the minister here, Studio One. These doors are locked, so is the control room. 
And according to a member of the staff, they have a man here in the technical area. Holding all the bases. To keep the show on the air. Exactly. However, we do have one advantage. No civilians. The police have evacuated the whole building. Why don't we just cut off the power? There'll be an emergency supply. We could take that out too. No, we'd endanger the life of the hostage. We don't want that, do we? These people are after publicity. Take them off the air. There's no telling what they might do. So we negotiate? Play for time? Do we know what they want? No, we don't. Not yet. I have a feeling we soon will. Let's go, shall we? À Londres, un groupe de terroristes a envahi un studio de télévision. Ces images dramatiques vous sont transmises en direct. On y distingue clairement les hommes armés. The satellite pictures for as long as it takes to bring you every development live as it happens. Here on ACN New York. This is ACN. Niemand weet wat hierdie mense wil hê. Hulle het 'n televisie stasie en hulle het 'n staatsman en 'n pistool. So you pair the pistol with politicare. Dat bestaan nie so tjeel om sweet hoe hy met hulle wat program. Million holding a politician at gunpoint. Hier deur het advance kom in Nistra. Vir Simon Miro. Million melodie. Nine nine countries. Television is stand. No wait, I think Tokyo is taking off it. Vir Simon Miro. Tadaima, usoshita terroristo ga London no TV studio ni osu. Yes, we're going out in Japan too. Ni sugangumi ga sendyo saremashita. Genzai no tokoro, kare ra no mokuteki ya yokyu naiyou nitsuite wa beikaku ni wa wakatte orimasen. Three networks in America, most of Europe, and now Japan. It is time. This. Is the trial of Ellis Risha, a respected man who travels the world in the name of my country, Albania. Presidents dine with him, universities honor him. But this same man has tortured and murdered his way through our towns and villages for 15 years. He has left a trail of broken people whose wounds will never heal. Tonight, he is on trial for his life. Stop. Stop. I don't know this man or why he says these things, but he lies. I, I, I don't know. Be quiet, or we'll kill you now. Tonight, we take the mask from off the face of this man. And if he's found guilty, he will die right here in front of millions. So that's what they look like. Who are they, sir? CI5. Are they taking over? I want to find out the commissioner. Let's see what they're up to. Ah, Downing Street. That's what we needed. All across the world, there are evil men. Men who kill and maim without a thought. This is an outrage. Quiet. Your chance will come. Take a look at this man. A very close look. He could be your neighbor. Or a relative, perhaps. But... Count yourselves fortunate that he is not. This man drowned two children in a water tank and shot to death a widow who wouldn't tell him where her son was. This man tortured his opponents in front of their families to get information. None of this is true. The camera does not lie. These are the injuries he inflicted on a child in Griba and on an old man in Berat. A pregnant woman and a young boy he crippled in Tirana. The list is very long. Anybody can get all the pictures like that. Mr. Harling, Mr. Winner, your positions, please. Yet, so do I. Why are you doing this? You know Why the plan? Why are you lying? Any other positions? 
Mr. Spencer, I want you to stay here and monitor what's going on in the studio. When I give you the order, you will join Miss Backus. Sir. So. Mr. Curtis, Mr. Keel, any questions? What if the route's blocked? You unblock it with every means at your disposal. We're here to save a man's life. Of course, if you can avoid being seen by the world on television, it would be a little bonus. Where will you be, sir? Chairman's office for five minutes, and then I shall be with Mr. Harley. The police. They're not getting in our way, are they, sir? Over my dead body. Excuse me. Report when you get into position. Good luck. His atrocities are almost too many to believe. So we will limit our charges to 22. 22 people killed or maimed by this monster. And there are places, dates, and witnesses. But they are frightened, too scared to come forward. There, no witnesses, a trial without witnesses. Where is your proof? Locked in the hearts of our people. In their hearts. <sighs> this is a travesty. The whole world can see through you, Panos. Panos. So you do know me. By reputation only. As a liar and a fantasist. The whole world should know about your history. Pia. Yeah. About your criminal history. Yes. Everything's OK here. The whole floor is empty. I'm going to switch to emergency power. Why? Slander. If they try to cut us off, it will take time to get in here and kill the generator. Three minutes at least. Arve Panas will have time to finish the job. Ready? Yes. Okay, and Elbeck, don't forget to check the dish. I already did. Every 10 minutes, it's our only link to the satellite. I know. Sam. Yeah. There's someone on the roof, south side, near the satellite dish. Okay, we'll take a look. I'll do it. You find a way into that gantry. Superintendent, under no circumstances will any of your men take action without my request. This is a CI-5 operation, and you are here to provide support only. My orders are different. They are to stand by with the SWAT team and to take instructions from the commissioner himself. Why is it that every time we come across the Metropolitan Police, there is a battle over jurisdiction? Well, perhaps that is because your role is unclear, Mr Malone. Unclear? Your commissioner has a copy of this. I am surprised that you haven't seen it. Would you tell me, is that unclear? Signed by the Prime Minister. Assigning this operation to CI5. Now, please, let us get on with the job. I'll have to call the Commissioner about this. Yes. Act as you see fit. Mr Fenton, is there any possibility that these studio doors can be opened electronically without them knowing? Without them knowing? I doubt it. If a lock fails, the alarm goes off. Perhaps I should put you in touch with our Chief Engineer. No, no, no. no. We, we have our own ways. So have we. Would you care to talk to your Commissioner now, Superintendent? Mr. Fenton, could you turn the sound up, please? I was hounded by the secret police for complaining. We lived in fear while men like you brutalized our women, beat us into submission with iron bars. You thought you could escape justice, but the time has come for you to pay, and you, Risha, will pay in full. You're a liar, Panos. A liar and a fraud. You pretend to be concerned about people, but your motive is political. All these lies without evidence. This is a lynching party, with you as judge and jury. Exactly the role you yourself played for 20 years. How does it feel? How does it feel, Risha, 
to be powerless, to be at the mercy of someone you can't control. It Mr. is Spencer. you who are out of control, Manos. Mr. Spencer, I am now monitoring. Go to position B as quickly as you can, please. You're needed back here, sir. Deputy Home Secretary is on V4. She says it's urgent. All right, I'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Mr. Fenton. excuse you can ever make is I was only following orders but it's always a lie brutes like you enjoy it all right Mr. Spencer thank you Mercer, with respect, I have very little time. I'm fully aware of that, Malone. I've just come from Downing Street. We're having second thoughts. Second thoughts about what? About letting this broadcast continue. We think it would be better if it came off the air. Now. I have already talked with the Prime Minister. We are agreed that these people want publicity. And if we cut them off now, there is a good chance that they will panic and kill the hostage. You can't be sure of that. Minister, I, I would have thought it was obvious. There are many things you don't know, Mr Malone. We've done a lot of business with Elise Risha, commercial and diplomatic. We're deeply involved with his government, and we want this broadcast stopped before any more harm is done to his reputation. His reputation won't be any good to him in a body bag, Minister. You're missing the point. Can we be overheard? Certainly not. Listen carefully. From this government's point of view, the damage has already been done. Risha's been charged with terrible crimes in front of millions. Whether he's guilty or not, mud sticks. The trouble is it won't just stick to Risha. It'll also stick to the people he's done business with. You mean people like you, Minister? People like the government? And many others. But no mud sticks to a martyr, and you wouldn't cry if he was killed. Is that what you're saying? Don't put words into my mouth, Malone. He would be less embarrassing dead than alive, though, would he not? I'm not prepared to discuss this further. The police have their orders. What orders do the police have? That's a matter for them. Minister, I came here to save a man's life. And if that programme is cut off, I will not be responsible for the consequences. Then I suggest you discuss it with the police. Curtis, where are you? Third floor. Keel's on the roof. Keel, come in, please. Sir. Whereabouts on the roof? South side. Near the dishes. We think there's someone up here. Tread very carefully. We may have opposition. What opposition? The police. I thought they are out of this. Explanations later. I want you to make sure that nobody tampers with that satellite dish. I want this program kept on the air till the last minute. Understood? Roger. We may well have a fight on our hands. so far. They're there for five minutes and then rejoin Mr. Curtis. Mr. Curtis, how far are you away from the entry point? Fifty yards, maybe. Get in position as soon as you can. Miss Backus, report, please. Tech area is clean, sir. No one's here. Stay where you are for now. Yes, sir. Spencer, report, please. Yes, sir. I want you to get as close to the control room as you can. I'm nearly there, sir. No action to be taken until I say so. Mr. Curtis, ETA. Five minutes. Four. 
Let me know the moment you're in position. I was only 22 years old. Was that the year you joined the secret police? I told you I was never in the secret police. You're lying. <sighs> this is insanity. Do you want to see proof that you were? Proof? What proof? All records of the old regime were destroyed. But not personal records. Captain Risha. Captain Ellis Risha, serial number 20479, Tirana Division. <laughs> this is a forgery. Is that the best explanation you can give? It bears the official stamp of the Hodja regime. You can have something like this made for a few dollars. It's not me. Doesn't even look like me. Show it to the people. Let them judge. Look at this picture. Is that me? Huh? Look at the nose. The mouth. It's not even close. People yeah. change. Their Open the door. Changes, they go. Tell back what's Everyone happening. No, Open the door! They're back? Listen to me, all of you. I swear that I was never in the secret police. I did not do the things that I am accused of. Ask yourself this question. Why are these people doing this? For political gain. There can be no other explanation. They want to destroy my government and take power for themselves. They will say anything, do anything, go to any lengths to get what they want. Look at me. Look at me and, and judge for yourself. <laughs> I'm a family man, a man of peace. I swear to you, I never harmed anyone for these th 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 these liars to, to accuse me of crimes they how many four crimes two cops and a guy on the roof and one in the switching room why would they fight me? i don't know did you lock the doors everything's locked this are the men of violence look at them with their lies and their forgeries and their guns I appeal to you all out there, to all of you who believe in, in truth and freedom and justice. Help me, please, help me. Are you scared? Of course, but we did it, didn't we? We got him, it's worth a year. What? In jail. And Ver said a year so long as no one was hurt. Go on now, hurry. And they're back. Thank you for what you did. I did it for my mother. I know. I lost mine too. Enough! Enough! People all around the world have heard the evidence and 
He has no defense. Against such lies, there can't be no defense. If this was a court of law, there would be witnesses, a judge, a jury, real evidence. Yet there is nothing, just accusations on and on. You have checked it? Yes. Good. See you later. All I can offer is the simple truth. Ah, the simple truth! Let us respect the simple truth. You said you knew me. I don't know you. By reputation, you said. Ah, I read about you in the papers. So, my face means nothing to you? No. Let me introduce myself another way. Remember this? Eighteen times you stubbed out your cigarette. Eighteen times while I stood to attention on the ice at Albasham. It was January and the river had frozen over. That night you shot two prisoners. Now, Gracie, you've got the wrong man. Say. Speak up, let everyone hear. You've got the wrong man, I tell you. <laughs> God, sleep, don't you believe me? Can't you see? I am innocent, but you have made a mistake. <laughs> don't you believe me? Is it possible that he's right? That I'm crazy? That we've got the wrong man? I was there that night. I've watched you make every one of those burns. Then you cut my arm while your police held me down. You thought I would bleed to death on the ice, but he saved me. A trial needs witnesses, you said. How about us? You see, there are witnesses after all. Both of us saw you shoot those two men. And both of us heard you laugh. Yes, Risha. You stood there laughing as they died slowly out there on the ice. You know that the name Risha is a common name in our country. There are hundreds in Tirana alone. With your face, with your voice. It was not me. I tell you, not me. The time has come to end this trial. Trial? Trial? This, this is a farce. Quiet. End this trial with a personal statement. Huh? And then what? Murder? Quiet! We have one more thing to tell the world. And you will listen in silence. There is one final charge against this monster. A charge that I have left till last because I can hardly bear to speak of it. This man, this animal, ordered the burning of a house in the village of Tulin. In that house were two women and a girl of 14. This man's bride? This man's mother? And my daughter? Shkoda and I could do nothing. We were already in exile. Derbeck, he was a boy in school. So the women died in the flames. But the girl, oh, the girl. Risha found a use for her at the barracks in Tirana. 
and to make sure that the soldiers knew whose gift she was, he carved his initials on her breast. We have waited many years for this moment. All of us know that we will go to jail. But the crimes of this man are too terrible to forgive. He must pay for what he has done. And for that, we are ready to lose our freedom. It will be worth the sacrifice. Stand up. In the name of all those who suffered, we find you guilty. Guilty of murder, torture, and rape. And the sentence is death. Do you believe in God? Answer me. Do you believe in God? Yes. You have 15 seconds to make your peace. anything to say before I carry out the sentence? Mercy. Of mercy. You showed no mercy. And nor will we. May the world take note of what you really are. Miss Backus. Spencer and I are standing by, sir. Mr. Curtis, Mr. Keel. Who said? Mr. Harling. Ready. Mr. Curtis, we go on your signal. You were a very lucky man, Mr. Panos. We could have killed you. And your friends. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you from my heart. My compliments to your men. I'll be seeing your Prime Minister before I leave. I'll make sure you take full credit for the wonderful job you have done here today. How very generous of you. You realize uh, this was a political stunt? Stunt? Of course. To discredit me and my party. It was all a pack of lies. As I told the people, I've never seen these gangsters in my life before. 
they are uh, under arrest, I hope. Oh, yes. All under arrest. these people will go to. Nothing is too much for them. Even self-mutilation. Politics will be the ruin of them, I think. Perhaps the ruin of us all. Get out of my sight. What? You think I did that? That's absurd. Get out of my sight before you have a very nasty accident. Now. We have two men under arrest over there. I find you're missing a pair of handcuffs. Mr. Keel, do not call the superintendent an idiot. That is my job. So what do you think will happen to him? Thomas? Oh, we'll get about three years, I would think. The other's a bit less. I actually meant Risha. Oh, I think I can answer that. He's finished. By nine o'clock tomorrow, half the journalists in the world, including mine, will be digging up every unsavory fact about him they can find. Nobody outside of Albania will ever speak to him again. Somehow doesn't seem to be enough, does it? No. But then in his case, what would be enough? <laughs> 